many people are feeling overwhelmed. And when you feel overwhelmed, you develop a sense of uncertainty and reflection and you go deeper. You know, what is my life? What is the purpose? What makes me happy? In the past, pre-pandemic, you may have thought the good life was something like winning the lottery or getting a new job or, you know, coming on to new faith. But that's not true anymore. According to a recent study that just was released, they found that the good life is more about psychological wealth, having many interests, having a varied life with adventures filled and, and connected with others. If you feel like you've been living in a haphazard way, the pandemic can be a real wake-up call for you. And you may want to refocus what your life means to you, how you want to live it from this point forward. I've got five suggestions that constitute emotional and psychological wealth, and I'm going to go through those now. The first one, make room for adventure in your life, but make sure you're not in control of the adventure, that you need others to survive. Rely on mother nature to dictate what you're going to do. This helps put you in a more humble position. Secondly, give yourself space to explore ideas, change your mind about relationships so they can grow and evolve and allow that for your kids too. Let them get interested in what they're interested in instead of directing them toward what you may have been interested in. Thirdly, be present in pain, not only your own, but others as well. Be present when others are grieving, stand by them. You don't have to say anything, but pain and suffering is part of life and accepting it and being a connector for someone else to help them endure it is a really wise thing. Fourthly, be vulnerable with your failures. It's our cracks that let the light come in. If we're not able to talk about our failures, then others have to always have a wall between us. They think you're an untouchable and you don't want to do that. And lastly, invest in your relationships. There is nothing that is going to bring more meaning or purpose into your life than having someone who loves you. And at the end of the day, you can be the richest person in the world. But if you don't have anyone that you can trust or love, you will always be psychologically poor.